So today we're going to go out on the boat to do some surveys of Studland Bay and the seagrasses that are there. We've got a pico cat survey that we're going to conduct which will hopefully show vegetation and might be able to show the height of the canopy of the seagrass. And then we've also got a sparus that's going out from maritime autonomy and it'll just be doing a visual survey taking images which will be sorted out into the correct location via artificial intelligence. Seagrass is really important for storing and capturing carbon as it draws it down from the atmosphere and holds it within its rhizome mat at the bottom. It's really important that we survey this because it's a very popular boating area and when boats anchor in the seagrass it causes damage to it. So there are eco moorings that have been put in so it's important that we prove that they are not causing damage to the seagrass and that anchor scars that are already in the seagrass are starting to heal. So today we will be deploying two different types of autonomous vessels. We have an autonomous surface vessel which will use acoustics, so sound, to map the seabed. We're also deploying an autonomous underwater vessel, so that's like an underwater submarine that's again pre-programmed to map the seabed and this time it's using optics. So it's using camera systems to collect images of the seabed which we can combine to reconstruct a 3D image of the seabed. So this project is part of the Southampton Geospatial Initiative. It includes a, a partnership across the schools of ocean and earth sciences, the school of geography and environmental sciences, and the school of engineering. And in partnership with the Dorset Coastal Forum, which represents local stakeholders, including the local communities, Dorset Council, the Seahorse Trust, and many other invested partners. I got involved the other day with diving and it was really exciting because it's the first time I've been down there and there were so many different organisms like anemones and different fishes and you can really see why seagrass is an important habitat to all of these species and why it's such an important ecosystem for us to protect. It's just so amazing to feel like you're doing something that really matters and is making a difference and this is such a key conservation area that it's hopefully something that can be taken and used to be applied globally. Yeah, it's amazing to work with sort of leaders in their field and that's what the majority of the professors here at Southampton are so it's really incredible as a student to get a chance to be involved in it.